U.S. principle is a common-sense approach to automation and process improvement projects. Similar procedures have been suggested in the manufacturing and automation trade literature, but none has a more captivating title than this one. U.S. stands for, 1. Understand the existing process, 2. Simplify the process, and 3. Automate the process. A statement of the U.S. A principle appeared in an article published by the American Production and Inventory Control Society. The article is concerned with implementing Enterprise Resource Planning, or ERP, but the U.S. approach is so general that it is applicable to nearly any automation project. Going through each step of the procedure for an automation project may in fact reveal that simplifying the process is sufficient and automation is not necessary. Step 1. Understand the existing process. The first step in the USA approach is to comprehend the current process in all of its details. What are the inputs? What are the outputs? What exactly happens to the work unit between input and output? What is the function of the process? How does it add value to the product? What are the upstream and downstream operations in the production sequence, and can they be combined with the process under consideration? Some of the traditional industrial engineering charting tools used in methods analysis are useful in this regard, such as the operation chart and the flow process chart. Application of these tools to the existing process provides a model of the process that can be analyzed and searched for weaknesses and strengths. The number of steps in the process, the number and placement of inspections, the number of moves and delays experienced by the work unit, and the time spent in storage can be ascertained by these charting techniques. Mathematical models of the process may also be useful to indicate relationships between input parameters and output variables. What are the important output variables? How are these output variables affected by inputs to the process, such as raw material properties? process settings, operating parameters, and environmental conditions. This information may be valuable in identifying what output variables need to be measured for feedback purposes and in formulating algorithms for automatic process control. Step 2. Simplify the process. Once the existing process is understood, then the search begins for ways to simplify. This often involves a checklist of questions about the existing process. What is the purpose of this step or of this transport? Is the step necessary? Can it be eliminated? Does it use the most appropriate technology? How can it be simplified? Are there unnecessary steps in the process that might be eliminated without detracting from function? Some of the 10 strategies for automation and process improvement that we will study in the next lecture can help simplify the process by asking, can steps be combined? Can steps be performed simultaneously? Can steps be integrated into a manually operated production line? Step 3. Automate the process. Once the process has been reduced to its simplest form, then automation can be considered. The possible forms of automation include those listed in the 10 strategies discussed in the following section. An automation migration strategy might be implemented for a new product that has not yet proven itself. So. This is the U.S. principle of automation. We will learn in details about the 10 strategies for automation and process improvement, and the automation migration strategy in the next lectures. Thank you.